Hi guys, it's AK Ren here, and today I'm gonna magnetize the Maylon 3x3. First off, make sure that you subscribe to me and press that notification bell for more awesome content in the future. Now let's jump right in to the magnetization. The Maylon 3x3 is one of the best budget cubes on the market right now. It's very quick and the main problem with this cube is that it's not stable and magnets can solve this problem. The magnets I chose to use is N50 because I like strong magnets and for setup you need to make sure that uh, you need at least uh, you need 48 magnets and make sure that there's no any metal or uh, ma magnetic items around you and also make sure that you have super glue right here so I'm using this super glue the first step you want to do is to disassemble the cube okay now that we disassemble the cube let's disassemble them further so basically what you want to do is you want to take one edge piece and you want to separate them so as you can see now you got two separate pieces from an edge piece a corner piece has three parts so you knew so when you take them apart there will be three parts now let's do it for every single one of them now that we fully disassembled the whole cube uh, sort out the edges and the corners so edges one pile and corners one pile now take out one random edge and one random corner and you can just shove all these away so let's put these two pieces in focus now that we got the edge and the corner in focus make sure that the edge piece is on the left side and the corner piece is on the right side now carefully take a magnet drop in the edge piece take the other magnet and then carefully put it in the corner piece now release your finger so now the magnets are stuck to each other as you can see now they're in place and so the the placement of the magnets in your first edge piece and corner piece is very important because it will decide on where all your magnets is gonna be so I recommend putting it somewhere like maybe here somewhere here and now we take our super glue right here squeeze some super glue onto that okay so after the super glue is dried separate the two corners and now put another corner next to it so this this step is to ensure that the polarity is consistent out of the cube so you won't mess up the ma polar magnet polarity of the cube so now and then you just drop another drop of super glue and basically you want to just repeat this process over and over again so what i mean is uh you put a magnet in, in the corner piece, you glue the magnet, you take away the corner. Now you take another corner piece and glue, put the magnet in and glue it in place. So let's just do that right now. So we've actually magnetized all the corners right now. So now the next step is to move on to the edge pieces. So basically, uh, I also found myself a cotton, cotton stick. So it will be way easier to put the, apply the glue on the magnets. So now basically what you want to do is, let's just put away that edge. You want to just choose a random corner from, from the magnetized corners and put it here. So now you're going to put a random edge here and you're just going to do the same thing. So essentially you put a magnet in. So I'm just going to do it. So let's take a magnet. Take a magnet. And basically, uh, I'm just gonna cover this up just in case the magnets you know, connect to that one. I'm just gonna squirt some glue onto the cotton stick. And now basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna smear it all over the magnet. So to make sure that it's not gonna fall off. And so now we're just gonna wait for it to dry off. So after this dries off, uh, you're just gonna take away the edge and you're just gonna take another edge piece and then and then put a magnet in and just repeat the process over and over again until all edges are finished. And once you finish all the edges, you're basically done magnetizing the cube. Okay, so I've just magnetized all the edge pieces and now all the pieces are done magnetizing. 
now we just have to assemble the cube and we can test out the Meilong M3 times 3 one eternity later so now I've assembled the cube and I'm very excited to try the magnetized version of the Meilong 3x3 let's do some first turns first Whoa, this is really good. Definitely main worthy. Let's check out the magnet train. The magnets are really strong and you can already see that magnetic bump even if you can't feel the cube. Now let's take a look at corner cutting. Confidently passes that 45 degree mark and for reverse corner cutting, Okay, it's line to line. Overall, the Meilong is definitely a cube worth magnetizing, and you will definitely not regret magnetizing this cube. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, please subscribe, and press the subscribe button at the lower right corner of your screen. Also, like this video, and press that notification bell for more awesome content in the future. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below, and I'll be sure to answer them. Happy cubing.